Faced with prostate cancer, you'll look at two major options, radiation therapy and surgery. Surgery still holds enormous appeal, especially for younger men for a simple reason. There is the reassuring feeling that the surgeon got it all out. Dr. Patrick Walsh is a prostate cancer expert and surgeon at Johns Hopkins, a nationally ranked center of excellence. If a tumor is completely confined to the prostate, there's no better way to cure it than complete surgical removal. The side effect most men worry about is impotence. The factors that influence the recovery of sexual function following surgery are the age of the patient, whether or not the sexual function was normal beforehand, and the skill of the surgeon. The impotence can range from 30 to 90 percent across the nation. Impotence occurs following radical prostatectomy because of damage to nerves. Today we know where those nerves are and skilled surgeons know how to preserve them. Which is why the choice of surgeon is critical. If you're going to have a radical prostatectomy, you don't want someone who's pretty good, you want someone who's very good. How do you pick a good surgeon? You want to look at these numbers. Incontinence, 3% or less. Positive margins, no more than 3%. Potent, at least 70% after 18 months. The surgeon should know these results and share them with you. There is no detectable difference in mortality between radiation and surgery after five years. If you're over 65, radiation may be a better choice. You're more apt to have fewer side effects than surgery. Today, prostate cancer is being diagnosed at an early curable stage, and men with the disease can expect more than a 90% chance of being alive 10 years later because of that. We'll discuss radiation therapy in a separate video. If you're under the age of 60, surgery is an ideal form of treatment because the side effects are less. While you may focus on lifestyle as the key outcome, it's also critical, say doctors at Hopkins, to look at the long-term outcome when choosing between surgery and radiation. Ask yourself, what is it you worry about most after five years? And then focus on how to avoid that. There is a third option, which we'll discuss in a separate video, which involves aggressive surveillance.